Swear these have got heavier since yesterday. Good morning. Well, it's all been a bit of a rush this morning to get this finished because, well, it's imminently about to rain. Of course it is. If ever, wherever you are, if you want it to rain, call me up. I'll lay some flooring and we'll just make it all happen. <laughs> okay, so all the nails are down, all the boards are cut. I'm going to go around all the joists again and screw them as well with extra long screws. Not as many as the nails, but just enough to re-secure it down. And that should be a perfectly solid floor. One floor slash potential swimming pool. This really is just for the next few weeks and probably going forward we'll protect it quite well anyway. It should direct the water all the way to the sides. I'm going to tuck all the sides in so the main floor stays dry. But that means all the floors underneath now become a lot more waterproof. So welcome to the pre-workshop-y, temporary workshop thing. Basically I've got a workbench and now it's pretty dry in this area. So it's time for the second stage of the roof. And that's basically the peak. And the thing that's going to be difficult about this is it's all going to be mortise and tenoned. And that's going to allow it to be super, super, super strong and a tiny bit of flex as well. So I've kind of been practicing how I'm going to do it. The fact that I don't have all my workshop tools yet is making it a little bit more difficult. So I'm just kind of honing the process in preparation for building this frame. A few ways I can do it. I've got a domino machine, which means it creates this kind of, you know, peg to go into a mortise. Um, that's for the more small gauge wood. So wood kind of of this size for the bracing can work like that. <sighs> Kind of played about with cutting it on the mitre saw, um, which actually I think is going to be the way to go. And then I can chain mortise the whole. 
I don't know, it's going to be a bit of a learning curve, I won't lie, and it's going to be a bit of trial and error. I'd rather kind of piece things together and see how they fit in kind of real time. Obviously, I can't build the whole frame here because the whole frame is the size of the chateau, so yeah, gonna have to go up bit by bit. So I'm gonna set the scaffolding upstairs and start marking where the first braces are gonna go.
beauty. Now it's not that I don't think I'm capable but I am surprised that that all fitted together. Okay so you can sort of see one corner of the roof now. So this is one of the bits that goes across. This is actually the pitch of the roof. It's just a test piece just to see if it all works but yeah. Oh nice. Obviously there'll be a, a couple of round pegs in there to hold that all tight. Now, I don't want to say I'm good or anything, but I am proud of that, you know, to be able to do that. So, I've got two bits to go up, and then I'm going to start piecing it together. In theory, I can build all the bits down the workshop, test that they fit, and then take them up and start putting them together. Now, I personally prefer to still offer things up before I, you know, rather than just work off of paper, so... We'll see how that goes. But it's starting. It's starting. And I will see you tomorrow. <sighs>